going to learn more about pollination. In yesterday's class, teacher explained to you more about the pollinating agents and about artificial pollination, isn't it? Now, natural pollination happens in plants. So, in natural pollination, there are two types of pollination which you have to learn. One is self-pollination and the other one is cross-pollination. Now, what is self-pollination? For that, teacher has got a plant here, a branch of a plant. Now, in this plant, you can see in this branch, uh, consider this as one plant. So, in this plant, we have two flowers. Isn't it? Now, in the first flower, pollination, a butterfly is coming to pollinate the flowers. So, what does the butterfly do? Look here. What does the butterfly do? The butterfly sits on the pollen grains here and then comes and sits on the stigma here. That means the butterfly is flying from here up till here. So in the same flower, the butterfly is pollinating. Then that type of pollination is called as self-pollination. is called as self-pollination. So what is self-pollination? When pollination happens in the same flower. So which type of flower will this type of self-pollination happen? Yes, in a bisexual flower. This type of self-pollination will happen only in a bisexual flower. Is it clear? So this is self-pollination. So if when pollination happens in the same flower, that is called self-pollination and that pollination happens only in a bisexual flower. So this is self-pollination. Now there is one more type of self-pollination. There is one more type of self-pollination. What is the self-pollination? Here you can see in the same plant there are two flowers. Isn't it? In the same plant there are two flowers. Now the pollinating agent is coming. The butterfly is coming sitting on this flower, pollen grains of this flower and from here it is flying to this flower. Is it clear? The pollinating agent, let it be a butterfly. The butterfly is coming to this flower and it is carrying the pollen, pollen grains to the stigma of this flower. So from here till here. But both the flowers are in the same plant. Is it clear? Both the flowers are in the same plant. So the poll pollinating agent is coming and sitting here on this flower. And it is going and transferring the pollen grains to the stigma of this flower. Then that type of pollination is also called as self-pollination. So there are two types of self-pollination is there. Did you understand? First one is same flower. First one is in the same flower. The second one is in the flowers of the same plant. Did you understand? First one self-pollination is in the same flower. The second type of self-pollination when the pollination happens on two flowers in the same plant that is self-pollination. Now, is it clear? I hope you have no doubt in that. Next type of pollination is cross-pollination. Next type is cross-pollination. What is cross-pollination? From the word, you would have understood what is cross-pollination. Yes. So, cross-pollination. Teacher has got one plant here. Teacher has got another plant here. Now, 
what is cross pollination the butterfly or the pollinating agent will come to this flower first and then from here it jumps and comes on this flower is it clear first it sits here then from the plant it goes to the other plant and pollinates this flower this type of pollination is called as cross pollination so cross pollination happens on two plants of the same variety from the shoe flower the pollinating agent if go it goes and sits on a rose plant it does not become cross pollination it has to be the plant of the same variety is it clear so what is cross pollination the pollinating agents transfer the pollen grains of one flower on one plant to the stigma of the other flower on the other plant then that is called as cross pollination is it clear so now first we will tell what is self pollination when the pollen grains are transferred from the anther to the stigma of the same flower that is self pollination second type of self pollination is when the pollen grains of one flower is transferred to the stigma of another flower on the same plant then it is self pollination okay what is cross pollination when the pollen grains of one flower on one plant is transferred to the stigma of another flower on another plant that is called as cross pollination so tell me in which all flowers can self pollination of the first type happen yes only in bisexual flowers because both the reproductive organs are in the same flower so the first type of self pollination can happen only in bisexual flowers the other type that is self pollination of the second type can happen in unisexual flowers that is for example a pumpkin a bee can sit pumpkin has got in the same flower the pumpkin has got male and female flowers so the self pollination of the second type can happen in a pumpkin plant the bee can came, come and sit on one male flower and when it goes and sits on the female flower the pollination happens there and also cross pollination also happens in unisexual flowers but in unisexual plants what are unisexual plants plants which have only male or female flowers are called unisexual plants isn't it because one plant example nutmeg one plant will have only male flowers the other plant will have only female flowers so what pollination will happen there yes cross pollination will happen there so in unisexual plants that is male and a female plant only cross pollination can happen there and the first type of self pollination can happen only in a bisexual flower in a bisexual flower or a bisexual uh, plant a bisexual flower what all types of pollination can happen all these three types of pollination can happen in a bisexual plant okay so first type of self pollination can happen in the same plant the second type of self pollination can happen in a bisexual and a unisexual flower okay and the third type of cross pollination happens in a bisexual flower in a unisexual flower and in a unisexual plant so is it very clear for you children now in your textbook you have this picture given here please draw this picture in your notebook and write down the first type of write the uh, draw the picture write the first type of self pollination 
uh, second picture please draw write the second type of uh, self pollination and the third picture write what is cross pollination and uh, write in which plants or uh, it happens also is it clear now can pollination take place in two type of plants suppose a pollinating agent sits on a pumpkin plant and it goes to a snake god or a bitter god can that agent pollinate the bitter god after sitting on a pumpkin flower can uh, pumpkin flower can it uh, pollinate a bitter god with the pumpkin pollen grains no it will not happen you will be thinking why it will not happen the flower will get destroyed or the pollen grains will get destroyed if the pollen grains of a pumpkin is transferred to the stigma of a bitter god the pollen grains will be destroyed so such type of pollination will not happen pollination and fertilization happens only in the fertilization will not take place fertilization happens only if the pollen grains falls on the stigma of the flower of the same variety in different varieties it does not happen it has to happen on the same variety a pumpkin uh, pollen grains can fertilize only a pumpkin female flower is it clear so it has to pollination has to happen in the same variety otherwise the pollen grains will get destroyed so is this very clear for you children please do your work thank you very much this is the class for today